Hey guys, Stealth here. Welcome back to Ultimate Criminal Dreadnoughts. It's episode 6 of the 1890 campaign, and we're in 1892 now for the Austro-Hungarian Navy. I keep losing transports. The Eastern Mediterranean, which is the problem. And I have a task force over there with a light cruiser, the Sava, and a bunch of these torpedo boats. But it's just not enough. There are too many ships out here. Or so I'm told. Because they keep disappearing, these transports of mine. But it's just two torpedo boats from the French. It's one light cruiser. It's one more light cruiser. And over here we have a heavy cruiser. And apparently that's sinking every single transport I have. Because I am now down to 34% of my transport capacity. Thankfully, I still have 178 million saved. But I, for one, cannot wait until my battleships come off the slipways and join that fight. Because I need a lot more power projection all the way down here in the southern, or sorry, the eastern Mediterranean. For now, we have a couple of engagements. I'm going to ignore this one because the French get my victory points if I win. We have a task force, sorry, we have a convoy here. Uh, this is the Zrinyi against the Arthusa, sorry, the Arthusa and Vipsania Agrippa. A bunch of transports. I'll take that one. And over here, I'm also engaging a bunch of transports. You see, if I cannot take the security of my own transports to good measure, then I will make their transports suffer. I think I also have too many ships over here uh, in the Mediterranean slash Adriatic border. So we're going to just ship a whole bunch more units down there and make sure that I power project much, much more over here. And I might have more encounters with the Brits. Uh, that'll probably not go too well for them. I really do not want to fight the French, but I do want to fight the Italians. So, what can we do? We can have a quick encounter over here with the British. And just quickly kick a bunch of transports down into the sea. Hopefully eliminating some more of the British transport capability. Because they still have a hefty amount of money coming in. That needs to be addressed. Now we get a couple of free shots at these British ships because Samosh is already here and the enemy cruisers are reinforcing. The light cruisers of this class were not exactly designed to take on transports. They're designed to take on torpedo boats. So they have a fair amount of speed for a light cruiser. They have a lot of 2-inch guns and a couple of 4-inch guns. But as I have found, transports don't particularly like getting subjected to a treatment like that either. The only thing that I have to keep in mind is, uh, do I not overtake them? And I can just for now, slow down, get a little bit less speed and a bunch more accuracy and have the Samosh do its bidding. I've used a light cruiser yet. Screenshot slash thumbnail. So here we go. It's not the first time that the Samarsh has taken a couple of transports out of the fight. I have already done this once before with this exact ship. And, uh, well, she performed admirably. Got shot at a little bit. But it was not nearly enough to cause issues for her. And by the time that the reinforcing ships are here, it's already too late. Which I also have found personally to be a problem in keeping my own ships safe. Because more often than not, it seems that my cruisers don't get to my own fleets in time. And if you have a couple of light cruisers coming at your fleet, then you are just as much in trouble as these guys are. Because as the attacking party, you basically spawn in the middle or very, very close to the enemy fleet. Whereas if you're reinforcing, like the British are now, then... They have to travel 12 to 15 kilometers. Here we have the first shells coming in. Before they even get into range. Especially with this terrible accuracy. They're really not a threat. And I can pretty safely ignore them. So I'm going to start turning away. New Zealand's dead in the water. We're going to switch all guns to the Perth. Making sure that thing sinks quickly. I suppose we're just loading the high explosive at this point. Don't tell me you're firing armor piercing. That's pretty shit. Oh, wow, you got here fast, buddy. You got here really fast. Okay, I guess we're also going to take down a light cruiser for the British. 
not planning on that. Nor is it my mission. But if the Samosh can also make some more casualties there, I'm all for it. I'm already at slower speed. And I can make use of that to dodge any potential torpedoes. But the British have a weird class of light cruiser. This Calcutta over here has three 7-inch guns. That's it. Three 7-inch guns. They fire very slowly with a reload time of 18.2 seconds. But when they hit you, they hurt like hell. And on top of that, these things are pretty heavily armored for a cruiser. So trying to get close is the only option I have. Because everything else generally just bounces off. That is, if we're hitting the target in the first place. Which still, this era is a bit of a question. Hitting stuff is not really their strong suit, it seems. There's also another light cruiser, which apparently has already seen some conflict. And, um... <laughs> it's the Defiance. Yeah, I think I ran into Defiance before. Uh, she... <laughs> She has one 7-inch gun remaining. <laughs> the rest of them got destroyed. So, the Defiance... Well, she's Defiant, alright. It's just that she probably won't do a whole lot of damage with... <laughs> one 7-inch gun. So that's pretty much a free kill. These things cost 1.2 million for the Brits. Mine cost 1.3 for me. So I'm gonna very much make sure that the ship survives. Uh, I'm very happy that the Calcutta nor the Defiance have torpedoes, because that would make my life a lot more difficult. Meanwhile, we're going to continue trailing the Sorceress over there, because that is the primary target. <laughs> I was targeting Calcutta and I accidentally hit Sorceress over there. You guys have maximum bulkheads, so they're not that easy to sink. Secondaries on that. Get some damage in on that. Because that's the primary. Calcutta is more of an afterthought. And the Defiance is going, nah, screw this. I can't shoot you anyway. I'm out. Prioritize this. And then the Ardent. Not exactly sure what the Calcutta is up to. But I know that she can most likely pen me pretty damn everywhere. You know, 67% chance to get penned by Calcutta. Sorceress... We can see dropping like a brick. Bulkheads you have. Standard. Oh, not too bad. But I don't think you have enough. One or two more flooding should do it. Then I can take out the Ardent. I'm really not sure how the rest of this campaign is going to go. Because I don't have enough firepower to keep my transport safe. And I could be in a downward economic snowball. In the sense that I keep losing transports. Thus, my economy starts grinding to a halt. Thus, I cannot afford more ships. Thus, I cannot afford to build more transports. And down and down we go. So my only hope, really, is to use my ships as offensively as possible. Instead of defensive in protection my own, or protecting my own transports. And just making sure that I'm not the only one who's bleeding. I also want the British to start losing a lot of ships. Now, I think that this battle is not going to be terribly interesting to watch. So, I'm going to pause the recording here. I'll probably just show you the results screen. Okay, unexpectedly, this is actually turning into an interesting fight. Because I have managed to get to within 100 meters of the Calcutta. Calcutta is trying to make a break for it. But she's just getting penned time and time and time again by all of these two inches. And this is going to make for a pretty nice shot. If not for the fact that I'm going to have to turn in order not to get rammed by that damn cruiser. Not what I wanted, Calcutta. Damn it. There's my rudder. I was using that. Or rather, I was not using that. Kind of what let me here. Anyway, these two inches have proven to be extremely destructive. Both the transports, but also the Calcutta. Because the Calcutta is taking a lot more damage from the 2 inches than she is from the few 4 inches that I have. Still, I would love to have a much better light cruiser. Probably gonna have to look into both rangefinding as well as getting a better cruiser hull. 
I know that my budget for research isn't all it's cracked out to be. It's not as good as it could be. But I think I might be able to make something work, especially if I prioritize the cruiser hulls. That way I can get something a little more feasible than a ship like this. I mean, this thing has performed very, very well. But these battles take a long, long, long time. And I would like it to be over a little faster. And of course, I can click end battle. But I just want to make sure that this light cruiser actually dies. That's one down. Now the Defiance tries to run away. And I'm going to let her. Because my own ship is only going to be doing 14 knots. The Defiance is doing 20. So I don't think that there's a whole lot that I can do to let that thing also meet the seabed. The outcome for the British was disastrous. They lost a lot of ships. Five of their transports, including one of the ships that came to the rescue, this Caradoc class Calcutta. Well, she didn't do that well, did she? She barely inflicted any kind of damage, and they only got nine victory points for their trouble. All right, with that out of the way. Uh, also, I also got 597 points for getting the transport sunk. So my war against the British is going quite well. The task force here I'm going to ignore and the convoy there. Yeah, why not? But I'll do this off screen because it's just another convoy attack. Now with that battle out of the way, let's have a look at research. What are we currently working on and what can I use to make my ships more effective? I'm currently working on turret mechanisms, which will give me a 5% bonus. It's nice, but I've not really had a problem with trying to keep turrets on target. Gun layout, three times center line mounts for guns, large guns. Uh, useful, but not really what I need. I think control station in general is going to be more useful because it'll allow me to actually hit targets as I install range finders on my various ships. A better battleship design, um, maybe, but not right now. Better engines, like the triple expansion steam engine, would probably be a big boost because those allow me for faster ships, which also means I get more ships to reinforce my, well, potentially under siege transports some more. I want to get there quickly and potentially I have the mobility advantage as well. Now, as with previous, um, the Italians and the British and the French, they just keep building more and more and more ships. The Italians are at 11 battleships, 26 heavy cruisers, 25 lights, and 46 torpedo boats. The French, 52 torpedo boats, 40 light cruisers. This is probably the mainstay of what's doing damage to my convoys. 23 heavy cruisers and 5 battleships. The British, 10, 23 heavy cruisers versus my 11. 35 light cruisers and 42 torpedo boats. Now, with this, the Italians have started blockading me. Because I'm simply not projecting enough power. They have almost three times the amount of power projection that I do. Uh, and they have about 90,000 tons more displacement out there. 90,000 tons. That's a lot. Now, not all of that is in torpedo boats for them. It's probably heavy cruisers and battleships that are doing most of the pulling here. Uh, this is going to mean that I have a bit of a problem. Because my economy is going to be not really enjoying not getting any kind of resources. I mean, I wasn't getting enough resources as it was. <laughs> with my uh, lack of transports. But overall, it wasn't too bad. Anyway, I get at least some opportunity for a little bit of payback. And let's see where the enemy is. I have one... No... Oh. I have quite a few of those new ships, the uh, Exa as well as the Moe class. Of course, everybody and their mother is colliding with each other. As one does. South. Oh, okay. Boys, we're going south. Everybody break up. These formations in this game are still royally shit. Formations, collision avoidance, it all doesn't work. Now we're going to present as a pretty wide front, and that means I can attack this cruiser from various different directions. The 
Exa class could be very useful here in just a gunboat role. While the T8 rushes in and tries to go for a torpedo attack. I have to be pretty concerned here, pretty careful. Because the Italians have torpedoes. Those things are no joke. They have already caused at least a bunch of damage with the torpedo boats that they've encountered. Not necessarily killed them, but just caused damage. There we go, the Giussano. Giussano is in torpedo range and has just decided to use said weapon. But one torpedo is not going to scare me. A whole bunch of them will. But thankfully, they don't have that capability. There's their torpedo boat. The Mua could be a nice weapon to use against that. Because the Mua has a fleet. No, not a fleet. It has a lot, anyway, of 2-inch guns. Which is probably what I need to make this thing hurt. Okay, we're going to slow you down. You're going to continue on your course. You're going to continue on your course. That's your target. Uh, yeah, um, this is going to get probably a little annoying. Torpedo away, one. Incoming torpedo as well. Zigzag and avoid that. Giosano is by far, by far my biggest concern. The Lupo. Nah. The Lupo is already flooding. T6 still has a torpedo ready. But so does the Giosano, I think. And she's carrying more torpedoes. Okay, you're going to... Uh, you know what? AI control, whatever. Torpedo going for the T7. This is my 2-inch torpedo boat. I'm going to come in and do some useful stuff here. Torpedo boat here has a 19% chance to pen on the Giusano. That's pretty good for one of these new torpedo boats. These things only have 4 inches and 3 inches. They have proven to be quite useful. Uh, mostly when dealing with a convoy ship that's out here alone. Aside from that, you don't really want to have them solo in enemy cruiser. Because they might not survive that. But in numbers, they have been extremely lethal. Or at least they can be. The AI was trying to flee. For some reason or another. Ah, there goes the Lupo. That was one of the three-inch guns. Probably from the exit T5 that did that. Sorry, no, not the T5. The T5 is engaging the uh, Giussano. Torpedo is away, but will get dodged. More damage output here. That's your target. But we are too far away. I'm going to do a full turn. Focus on this. 50-50% chance to pen. Take it. There's the T2 with its 2-inch guns. That's not related, by the way. T2, 2-inch guns. Oh, sorry, it's the 4-inch guns. It's the Mova class that has the bigger... bigger armament of 2-inch guns. Do I need to persuade you to come with me quietly? There we go. Pen. Maintain position next to the ship, even if it means we're going to have to sacrifice some accuracy. Eight is ready to go. Torpedoes have been dodged. They have done 71 damage versus my 3,000. But that ammo explosion was a large, large part of it. That is very unkind. Also fairly undodgeable. Well done to you. Don't do that again. Thing is burning quite badly. Compared to Torpedo, this light cruiser, she's flooding. She's getting a ton of hits. And, oh, Jesus. Sorry, amateur hour today. I forgot that she still had her port launcher. This ought to kill her, but she has done a fair amount of damage to my ships. Exit T5 was sacrificed because of my sheer stupidity there. So, that was fun. Um, 251 points for the Italians, but 479 for me.
Maybe a small bite out of the Italian fleet, but still not enough. And I've lost three more transports in the Eastern Mediterranean. I believe I have quite a few guys here. You guys are on sea control. I'm going to set you to protect. I'm going to set you to... Yeah, this is fine. You can go on evade. Uh, sorry, invade. So they are more likely to encounter enemy ships. And these guys are also set to protect. This is five heavy cruisers and a light. Maybe I need to split them up more so I have more of a presence in various different locations. There are two sections of three. What's this convoy? Oh, it's my convoy. Okay, but at least these three ships. What, the Zrenyi is again here? Wow. Okay, the Zrenyi was operating all the way down here on the Eastern Mediterranean. I think she went back to get fixed. And now she's all the way back at base. Are you damaged? No. You're not damaged. Okay. Anyway, as for that blockade, I'm going to have to endure that. In seven months, I'll have my battleships. And my power projection is going to go up a lot. So, let's defend our convoy and make sure that the Italians know not to mess with our convoys. As this one is actually escorted. And does not have to get reinforced. Meaning that my ships are immediately ready. So we can find them and we can eliminate them with guns and or torpedoes, depending on what type of ship we have. They're somewhere to the west. I would very much recommend my transports to turn tail and get out. Because I cannot guarantee their safety. Weather conditions. It's okay. Calm waves plus two and a half. But morning time, daytime and cloudy weather are not really helping. So those two factors... Could make it a bit more difficult. Now, we're only fighting a couple of light cruisers. It's not going to be that bad. But they are Italian cruisers. Which means that they carry torpedoes. We have to keep that in mind. Where is your Italian attack force? There they are. Not too far away. This ship... Should prove very useful with her 4-inch guns. She has... I'm just going to call these primaries or secondaries, I'm not sure. But she has a fairly hefty amount of them. And more importantly, she can maneuver very quick. Going for broadsides, going for weak spots. Going where the enemy really doesn't want you. I'm going to slow down my heavy cruiser to half... Sorry, light cruiser to half speed. To allow them both a bit better accuracy. But more importantly, more turn rate. So that I don't have to worry about torpedoes as much. Oh shit, are these... These aren't French, are they? What flag are you flying? Italian. Oh, jeez, okay. Because Jean de Vienne, I thought that was French. Let's say for uh, Dassa. It doesn't strike me as particularly Italian. Anyway. Mm. Yeah, see? 50% chance to pen. Slow you down some as well. There you go. Pen and fire damage. Switch fire to the Dassa. The other one's too heavily angled. I'm still outside of torpedo range, which is where I want to be. I do not yet want to torpedo these guys because they're too maneuverable. Get a damage against the dust sot would be great. Turn back. What sort of turning circle are you looking at? 350. Oh. This could be problematic as these guys come in closer and closer and closer. Still, I'd rather they take out a light cruiser or two. If worse comes to worst, much rather then they take out a couple of transports because I'm really running quite low on those, I think. Already flooded a bit. It's very nice. Let's target the Jean de Vienne. I want you to continue with the Dessa. You're still turning your guns around or something? Yeah, you were. Spread out the damage, making both ships more sluggish. And thus allowing me even greater control over how we fight this battle. There. Rudder damaged. 
some reason, even though they can hit me and pen me, they're not doing much of either. I really haven't found the Italian 7-inch gun light cruisers to be particularly threatening. The Brits are even worse with their three light guns or three 7-inch uh, guns on their light cruisers. But neither of them are particularly threatening. Destroyed paint gun. <laughs> there you go. Good luck with that. Flooding on the Dassa. And these guys are so close that I don't even care what I shoot at. I'll probably hit something with an Italian flag on it. Yep, conning tower damaged. You can kiss your accuracy. Goodbye. Has a damaged engine and rudder. Mm. Yeah, okay, ricochet. Ricochet chance is quite low. I was kind of reconsidering whether it was useful to use AP on my own ships. Sometimes I want to overrule the AI on what choices it makes to pick AP or HE, but in this case, I kind of agree with it. With this ship, though, average ricochet chance, pan chance going down. As far as I'm concerned, the Exa T9 should start switching to HE right about now. But now, it's a different story again. Now it definitely needs to use AP, which promptly ricochets off the ship. Hold on, is this... The Italians have torpedoes, yes? Shit! Misidentified flag. Sorry, I'm colorblind. I thought at range this is the Italian flag. It's the frickin' French. It's the frickin' French. I don't have to worry about torpedoes. I only have to worry about them stealing all of my victory points, because that's what they do. Okay. This battle can go a lot easier. I wonder how many of you have already started going to the comments going, Hey, <laughs> that's no Italian flag. That's the French. You're right. My bad. So I can pretty easily pick these things apart. Do a drive-by with the uh, Exa T9 with a torpedo launcher. And probably end this fight a lot faster and definitely less safe than I thought I should. Bear the torpedo launcher, I know it's on your stern. The dust saw is already flooding. We got 600 meters on them. We got one torpedo on these ships. Because they're not really meant for torpedo attacks. You sneaky French boy, stop turning. Stop turning. Get over here. Flooding. How much damage have you done? 87. Okay, not nearly as much as I hoped you would. But you can make up for that with a torpedo. All of a sudden, you've done a thousand plus damage with one weapon. Uh, it's sad that I'm not going to get the victory points for this. But hey, it reduces the amount of French ships, so it's fine. I just hope that the victory points aren't going to be too much in favor of the French. Finish it off. Call it a day. Because one way or another, I had to save my transports. That was the key here. Whether it's the Italians or the French that are threatening my transports, I need to keep them alive. Bit more, she'll sink. There she goes. Job done. Way, but I believe it was the French who had a ton. Nine hundred forty-eight victory points, and they're attributed to the French. Watch. Boom. Damn it. Yeah, the French still have thirty-eight more light cruisers. Now I'm not exactly sure what the Germans are doing. They have plenty of presence out here, but I would very much appreciate it if they actually made use of that presence and started engaging the British. Because I'm not sure if they have actually done a whole lot. Really not sure. Anyway, that'll conclude it for today. Uh, I have about half the ships of the British, the French and the Italian navies, but uh, I have a lot more fighting spirit than they do. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please become consider becoming a patron supporter. You'd really help me out with that. And I shall see you guys soon for the next episode.